Welcome to the College. Tonight you're going to hear about some of the award-winning programs for Pathways in our College. Your students are embarking on the post-compulsory years where they'll be making many choices about their future. Our role is to help them to make the right choices, to support them in whatever their career goals are. Some of our students will be aspiring to go to university, to TAFE, to do apprenticeships. Others will be aspiring to get out in the workplace and enter into traineeships. We hope that you find out lots of information tonight, but just remember if you're a little bit confused, tonight is just the first step and there will be a lot more work to follow. My name is Chris Bell and I'm a Career Education Advisor. The breadth of educational experiences and career pathway opportunities have never been so great for our students. Caram Down Secondary College Senior Program is flexible and offers a wide range of choices to ensure our students meet their pathway goals, pursue areas of interest and develop their talents. The decision students make now in course selection in many ways directs their future pathway options. Students need to ask a number of questions when making course selection decisions. What type of career or job do I want when I leave school? What are the prerequisites to achieve this goal? Will I undertake a VC or a VCAL or do a combination of both? Will I include a VET or an Australian school based apprenticeship? What subjects will I choose? To assist students in making informed decisions about course selection, they should consult a range of information guides provided to them, some of which are the Job Guide, the Where To Now booklet, the Senior School Handbook, the Victor, the Victorian Tertiary Entrance Requirements, which will come out in supplements in The Age and The Herald Sun, the VTAC Guide, which will come out soon, the University and TAFE Course Handbooks, and online tertiary and information guides. Course counselling is an ongoing process and students are advised to consult with the following advisors before completing their course selection sheets. They should speak with their pastoral care teachers, their senior sub-school leaders, the VET VCAL coordinator, and they should speak with the college career advisors. The Victorian Certificate of Education was introduced in 1991. It is a recognised worldwide certificate. Homework requirements are extensive and students are required to complete substantial homework outside of school hours. The VCE program is highly structured and allows students a direct entry into university. Assessment includes school assessed coursework, school assessed tasks and exams in addition to classwork tasks. These results make up the student's ATAR and these are used to apply directly to university courses. Students who complete the VCE can also go on to training at TAFE, traineeships and employment. Students are choosing their subject, it's important that they choose them based on their strengths, the prerequisites they need and their pathway interests. Hi, my name is James Anderson and I'm currently studying VCE as my pathway. Hi, my name is Ananya Kaswan and I'm also studying VCE as my current pathway. This year I studied Year 12 Biology in Year 11 and this year I'm take, studying VCE English, Chemistry, Further Mathematics, Math Methods and Japanese. Um, I'm not really sure where I want to go um, but I've chosen a range of subjects that um, appeal to my interests, Math and Science, so that I'll have an opportunity to go into something in that field. I did biology, you taught biology last year and this year I'm doing VCE maths methods, English, chemistry, physics and a language other than English by correspondence. Um, I would like to get into medicine, I was very certain that I wanted to take that as my career pathway. So I've chosen subjects that interest me and kind of make me go towards my chosen pathway for medicine like chemistry and biology and methods. Um, I had prerequisite subjects to get into medicine and those were chemistry and English. Um, I chose other subjects like physics and methods because they, they, they would provide me with the highest score which is also a prerequisite for getting into medicine. So you want an enter score in the high 90s and the two prerequisites are very important. VCAL 
is the Victorian Certificate of Applied Learning. This certificate is useful for students who are going on to TAFE or further employment, not for direct entry into university. VCAL caters for those students who enjoy working in an applied manner. VCAL students need to be highly organised, motivated and able to use initiative. Most importantly, they need to actively engage in all lessons and be in attendance 95% of the time. The VCAL course has a compulsory, literacy and numeracy component. A standard VCAL course would comprise the students attending school for three days a week, one day at a work placement and one day completing the VET course. The school component consists of literacy, numeracy, work-related skills and personal development. VCAL timetables can vary from student to student. These variations can include additional work days, school-based apprenticeships and students involved in individual projects. VCAL students can also choose to do a VC subject as a part of their program. This could include English, Math or other electives such as Design Tech or Studio Arts. Students can also choose to do another VET course. To participate in VCAL, students must collect a pack from their sub-school leaders and complete all necessary forms. Both the student and their parent must agree to all components of VCAL, including the excursions, camps and most importantly, the structured workplace learning. Structured workplace learning is part of the VCAL certificate. It requires a student to go into a workplace one day per week and gain valuable skills that they will use in real life. It could be washing hair, it could be using power tools. It also offers them the ability to learn employability skills such as communication and also self-management. We are all required to get up in the morning and get ourselves to work and that is the skill with structured workplace learning. It also offers the students an opportunity to impress an employer and potentially gain part-time employment out of it. Why not give it a go? Some of our past successes have been with students attending the Langham Hotel and they've achieved apprenticeships from that. It could be going into a local hair salon and realising you want to be a hairdresser. Why not take that opportunity and enjoy a structured workplace? Structured workplace learning is similar to that of work experience. The students have the opportunity to go into the workplace and they may earn between $5 and $100 a day depending on their employer and the industry they're working in. They need to have the form signed by their employer and parent and it comes back to the college where we're able to sign off and cover them in the workplace for such things as work cover and any work safe issues that may happen in the workplace. The college has a wide range of resources available for those students having difficulties finding their placements. Whilst undertaking VCAL, students may be presented the opportunity to undertake a school-based traineeship with their employer. A school-based traineeship requires a student to complete a seven-hour workday and a six-hour training day. It could incorporate their current vet subject and their employer. Students participating in VCAL in 2013 are required to have all relevant paperwork returned to the college or myself by the 28th of November. Otherwise, they may look at being placed into another subject in that time frame. VET is vocational education and training. VET provides students with nationally recognised qualifications while still at school. VET is available to all Year 10, 11 and 12 students with entry points at Year 10 and 11. Importantly, all VET contributes to the VCAL, VCE and ATAR scores. VET can be delivered in a multitude of ways in the classroom, at school, at TAFE, at another school, in a workplace, online, or through a school-based traineeship or apprenticeship. Regardless of the certificate enrolled in or the delivery method, all VET contributes to the VCAL or the VCE certificates. Some programs have a study score. If so, there's an exam and a study score out of 50 attained, just like any other VCE subject. All other VET contributes to the ATAR on the basis of block credit, which is 180 hours of a Certificate 3 level and above course. This contributes a 10% increment, which is the average of the top four subjects added to the aggregate. If you're interested in bumping up your ATAR, the Certificate 3 in Child Services or Fitness delivered at our college is an opportunity to complete a Unit 1 to 4 all in the one calendar year. 
some of the challenges which arise in VET are that because of the practical nature or the delivery location, it needs to be delivered in a block of time. This means that some students miss one period of a class. While all teachers at Caron Down Secondary College are able to accommodate this situation, meaning they will not deliver new content or conduct assessments during this time, it's important for students to clearly communicate with their teachers at all times to ensure that work requirements are met. The following programs are available at Caron Down Secondary College. Beauty, Hair, Hospitality, Fitness, furniture making, children's services and media. VET programs offered at the college are much lower in price than available elsewhere and are delivered at convenient times during the school day. Outside of the college, any number of courses are available at Chisholm and neighbouring schools. Please see your pastoral care teachers for details of these courses. Hi, I'm Sean Rush. I'm currently studying VCAL and doing VET hospitality. I'm Gemma Savvy and I'm currently doing VCE and VET Justice. So I'm doing uh, VCAL with VET Hospitality so I can get into the hospitality industry or move on to be a food tech or uh, something in the sciences of food. Um, so that's why I'm doing VET Hospitality and also managing the cafe through the school. Um, okay, so I'm doing VCE English, Business Management, Food Technology and Media. Most of those are just because I have an interest um, also, that would give me an enter score in case I go to university. Um, that's my main goal, to go to university. But if I don't get into university, I have my TAFE course, which is Justice, which is Certificate for an Advanced Diploma. So I can keep doing that if I don't get into my uni course. Hi, I'm Lynn Brander and I'm in Year 11 and I'm currently studying BCE. The subjects I'm doing is Biology, Health and Human Development, um, English and General Maths. I'm doing a Vet Fitness course. At the start of the year, I was studying VCAL and doing um, vet beauty and vet fitness with doing another day off school doing placement. And halfway through the year, I decided that I didn't want to go down that pathway anymore. I started with VCAL in the first place because all my friends were going into it. And then I felt it was the easiest option to get where I wanted to be. Then I changed and I didn't, it wasn't as hard as it seemed. Everyone thinks VCAL is very hard in VCAL and all that. It's really not that hard. Um, in the end, I want to be in the health industry, whether it be a paramedic, nursing, or teaching health, and that's where I'm going towards now. That's why I've got biology and health, human, and my vet um, course, which at the end of it, I'll be a personal trainer, and hopefully, I'll get into university at the end of year 12. Where to from tonight? Students are asked to read the handbook and talk about it with their family. In pastoral care, students will be working through their managed individual pathway plan. Over the next three weeks, the following course dates have been published for course counselling and the submission of courses. All students will need to meet the course submission deadlines. Everything we go through in this DVD is in your handbook. So if you miss something or unsure of what has been said, you can refer to the handbook.